Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. I love creating these videos for Screencast Online because sometimes I get to cover a brand new application, which is great. Whereas other times like now, I get to share with you an app that I've used for a long time that I would have considered myself a power user for until that is, I created this outline and realized there is so much more that this app can do to help save me time. I then get to share that with you. And the application in question today is Hazel by Noodlesoft. Now, many of you will already know this app because it's incredibly popular amongst power users. What does it do? Well, it's a little bit like a housekeeper for your file system. You tell Hazel which folders on your Mac to watch and Hazel will watch them. Then when a file hits that folder, if it matches a rule that you've set up for it, then Hazel will work some magic for you and execute an action, such as renaming it, moving it, perhaps it will copy or tag it, even run a script and so much more. We've covered it before in video 886, where Todd did a great job in showing you the foundations of how to use Hazel. However, that was when it was simply in addition to your preferences pane. Now, at version five, it's its own standalone application and needs our full treatment. Now, this is going to be a two part video because despite having a simple premise, there is a lot you can do with Hazel. So let's get straight to it. We're going to kick off with covering how to purchase and install Hazel. Now I'm here at the NoodleSoft website, the people behind Hazel, and for pricing options, I'm going to click on store where the different levels of pricing are listed. Now at the top, we have a single license for $42. Then below that, there is a family pack, which allows up to five people to use the app, and that's $65. Then at the bottom, if you have a previous version of Hazel, you can get an upgrade license for $20. Then as I scroll down here, we can see there are standard payment options available. Now I have already purchased a license, you won't be surprised to hear. So before we download, I just wanna to go to this support section here. Because as I say, Hazel is both simple yet advanced at the same time but there is a great level of support available. On the left here, we have a user guide, which is incredibly detailed. Then there are forums available that are pretty active. It's certainly a busy community. And then to the far right, if you've lost your license, you can click here to retrieve it. If you have any questions at all that you would like to ask the developer, then at the bottom of this page, there is a form you can complete to request information. Okay, let's go back to the homepage now and take a look at downloading and installing. So I'll click on download here. And it is a small file, so that's downloaded pretty quickly. Now I'll come up here, click on the downloaded file. The license agreement is displayed. And this is a bit where I say, I've read this in detail, end to end, so it's okay to click agree. And then I'll double click Hazel here to install. Now, as the Hazel installer was downloaded from the internet and not through the app store, I need to validate that I do indeed wish to open it. And then I can choose where it's going to install to. So either the standard applications folder or somewhere else perhaps, but applications is fine. And then do I want the install files deleted once complete? So yes, I do. Okay, that was super quick because it is a lightweight application. Hazel is now installed. I do have a little bit of mess here around the screen. I'd very much like to tidy up. But first of all, notifications up here. Now Hazel can send you notifications whenever it executes an action. Now, ordinarily, I'm not big on notifications, but I do quite like having this turned on and I'm certainly going to enable it for this screencast. Then I'll clear this file window here and close Safari. We don't need that anymore. Now, Hazel is installed in trial mode at the moment, meaning I can use it for 14 days without needing to enter any kind of license key, which is a good period of time. And this message here is giving us the opportunity to load in some sample rules. Now I am going to do this because it's certainly going to make showing things a little bit easier at the beginning of this video. Then this message is saying that the rules have been added, but they're going to need to be activated. They're not running yet. And all of that will make sense very soon. So I click OK. And I'm just going to resize this, give us a little bit more real estate to look at. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. 
Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.